<laughs> ah, God, Biddy. Hello, live? everybody. This is Flash and <coughs> Coffin Vinny at yep. the dark table. Uh, we are reallibertymedia.com on Saturday, the 24th day of Augusto in the calendar year 2019. I think it's a bunch of shit, but it's fun to say it. And we have pot chokers at the dork table today. Yeah, we're doing the, the doing the show. We're doing it with Woody on our minds. Hey, Woody out there in Arizona. Hey, guess what else we got at the table? Oh, who? What? 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 Birthday cake, baby. That's right. Oh, Dude. yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, uh oh. Now you do, you do the singing. Go okay. On, go ready? On. ready? Come on. One, two, three. Happy. Happy, 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 happy birthday. Happy birthday, Big Papa. You do the dust thing around here. Thank you. Hey, and now you. I'd like to make this little quote to our friend Grimnir. You've reached those twilight years, and now you're a burden to everybody. Ah! Hey, you're supposed to laugh. I yeah, was too today, grim I would, I would think that I would hate that. Hey, what we're gonna get to? We need to say hi to the bats and the baddies out there in Real Liberty Media. They're they're chatting to us. Well, Beth is floating in and out, so we'll start with her and say happy birthday yesterday. Oh yeah, dude, that was the yeah. day before. Well, okay. Uh, do we have to sing and play music again? <laughs> That was horrible. <laughs> Where's my harmonica? Oh, okay. Here. I'm tuning my Jew nose. <laughs> okay. Now, hello, bots and bodies of reallibertymedia.com. And today, for your typing experience, we have Barman Grimner, Moose Girl, Brackets, DC, Asmo, Chalcedony, Echelon, End Civ, Free Enslaved, Graham Z, I B Don C, Java Doctor 2, J Dread, Meister Brow, Ponder Gander, Poopster, Prince, Miss Kate, Rome's Vanna White, Vinny, W4DKV, Weather Dork, Phantom, Anti, Chaskira, Circle, hello, honey. Cyborg Noodle, duh, me, frump, frumpy, grommet, hagrid, nah, jays, nines, jays, Matt, wj, two, zero, zero, two, Mr. Snick, pwn, sass, real, donny, woo, sack, puppet, smart as, and the holiest, Ooh. Roger. Wow, we got a few new names for a dork table. Maybe they're just logged on. You know, you never know. We got some folks tuned in today, folks. And here comes Cakes, our big famous person that we love so much right here at World Travel. Uh, did you, Cakes. I know you do your own show, but did you, sir, get a chance to hear Poopster and Prince Thursday? I listened to the live debut, that's right. Did you? Br Real Liberty Media, right uh, here, RLM Radio dot X Y Z. Well, I didn't catch the live show. It's on. I was asleep in my little Betty by time thing, but I did catch the rerun, and I did notice that uh, the chatters were interested in the show. So hey, they got off to a good start. But it's the interest for many folks there. The uh, the Bitcoin and that sort of thing. And uh, well, I don't track. Stuff. No, but, but I, I told Cirque this, even uh, though I, I'm not paying attention, when I listen to links and shit in the background, I learn stuff. And whether I need it or not today, maybe in five years when there is no currency anymore, I'll need it. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so we got a new, we got some, uh, some cryptocurrency people that know what the hell they're talking about. Uh, they agreed with the people that we know. So you know, it makes you more comfortable believing what they're talking about when you're not familiar. That, That's right. Yeah, that Woody and, and Romes and Grimner, you know, and the new guys knew when everything was going on. So I better start paying attention and taking notes. But no, I did want to say, because uh, it's the 
first new show we've had in a bit. So I want people to know they're on there. Eh? We'll eh? give them a time on the end when we do our uh, you know, future things. We have confirmation of real people right here at Real Liberty Media. That's right. We got homies. Real Donnie Woo. They've got a big woo-hoo for you right here. And also, the holiest Roger is real as well. Uh, and mental pancakes must be busy because he usually stops in and there's been somebody looking for him. And I, He's here, is sir. He, when did he come in? Well, he snuck in. Oh, dork cakes, you sneaky. Okay. Well, the reason I brought it, somebody was asking me. I didn't know the name of whoever was talking about mental. And uh, I said he usually pops in. But he wasn't here when I read the list. You uh, sneaky yeah. fucker. Wow. Yeah. Look, what? Uh, he, he's, he's up there and got the weather going and everything. It's How's like your weather? it's like herding cats. Oh man, today it's uh, the sun is out, so whatever. But uh, it's a bit humid for me. But the sun's out and it's it's nice. <laughs> oh man, it's nice to be in summer when it's summertime and. That's that, you know. Yeah. I don't want to be in summer when it's winter. If you know what I mean. Oh yeah, Prince, no problem. And unfortunately, it, you know, you you caught a topic I'm not real familiar with. I can't support you any other way than to tell other people that what we heard sounded good to us, and they either you know want to catch it or they don't. We believe in freedom of choice, but you got to know what the fucking choices are. <laughs> you anarchist scum. <laughs> hey, hmm. can I read something? I, if you'd like to. What do you I, want? I, it, I, are you going to read yeah. it to me or are you going to read it to all of them? <laughs> Just, everybody else plugged your ears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they not be prepared for this. So. <laughs> okay. It has to do with voting and courts and the like. Yeah, yeah I put this in a, oh. from the under gander position of uh, ad quote. Yeah. So, Freedom will not be preserved through the ballot box of the courts. That time has passed for now. Liberty will be regained by one saying no and the many standing around him or her in defense. You know who said that? Ammon Bundy. You're right, sir. Yeah, you know, that was pretty good. I listened to his broadcast, his last broadcast, in uh, that's a, where he was closing out. And he said that. Then I found it typed out in print. Even and I thought that was just so amazing. That all I had to do was copy and paste and bring it over and, and put an exclamation point and add quote. Damn, there it is. Right yeah, there. and when you have it tattooed on your back, spell we'll, it right. We'll really be impressed. Be sure to spell it right. <laughs> and then when you're riding the bull, you can take off your shirt and give the crowd something to read. Well, I uh, I follow this guy called the. Uh, word refiner over on twitter yeah. mark schultz yeah yeah and he like yeah he posts a lot of pictures where they've typoed the inko on the skin oh in yeah tattoo. can you imagine somebody man wow no thank you i pass but then again i'm here junior on camera hey stop hi everybody stop. Uh -oh. stop. Stop. Vin hi. vinny's vinny stop. fell down can't get up but i've got a i've got a tattoo of circle's name but the r is backward so if you didn't know it was on purpose you might think hey wow you got fucked in that trade <laughs> but we you know, are cool though no she she wrote her name in a special way and i had the uh, had it inked so but it, if you're looking on it and you don't know you know what's going on the r is backwards so it kind of looks like a child wrote it or the artist fucked up. Hey, you want me to tell you a little bit more about some of these uh, freedoms and how you get protected and all that, like by assault and pepper? What freedom do I need to protect and from who? Uh, Possession of salt and pepper can be a crime, sir. What? How? Well, three years ago, the Ammon Bundy, he was found guilty of possessing uh, contraband, salt and pepper. He's given a suspended sentence of only 10 days, though, in solitary confinement. Oh, when he was in jail. Yeah. That's, wow. See, that's how petty this whole game that we play truly is. Once they got you damn locked down, then they start chipping away at all your brain cells, one at a time. 
wearing you down until you just want him to shit, shoot me and end this crap. That's how I see it, man. I'm telling you, you guys are some tough fucking people out there in America right now. Uh, if what I've been hearing about Trump this last week alone is true, boy, things are going to... China's on fire. There's a tariff war. Prices are out of control. Food's questionable. Supply lines. Everything's connected, man. <laughs> and right. Wow, well, they seem to be doing a good job of fucking just about everybody equally. Yet, for some reason on chat rooms in particular, because I don't I don't hear the same thing in the real world I read online, America's fucking better than it's ever been. You should try harder, sir. No, I'm saying according to how I interpret people's input on chat room sites, America has never been any better than it is right now, today. And it's only getting better all the time. Well, I wonder how. How can you say a thing like that? Well, I can tell you where the Ammon got his name from, Grimner. From the oh, book. you guys are still talking about um, Bunny. Okay, I back down off my my little rant. I'll come back to it later, man. Well, Ammon was a prominent ne uh, Nephite. It says here, missionary and son of King Messiah. He originally opposed the church, but along with his brothers and Alma the Younger, he is uh, miraculously converted. Following his conversion, he serves as a missionary to the Lamanites and converts uh, Lamoni and his people. That's where he got his name. There's a lot more about Ammon in the Book of Mormon that, uh, you know, people that are other than Latter-day Saints might not know about. No. Yeah, but I never, I hate going to Wikipedia. I really do. Well, then why do you do it? Oh, I, I, I seldom do, but sometimes. Ah, I, well, then why ever do it? Wait a minute. Well, if I you was don't... passing it by. That, that passing it is not going there then. Well, it pops up when I do a search. You know how it oh, goes. does it catch your attention and make you stop? Sometimes. Oh, <laughs> uh, you weakling. Okay, I see your problem. You, sir, are a dumbass. <laughs> you don't know how to pass up Wikipedia when you see the word Wikipedia. Just pass it. Stop looking, you bonehead. It's going to damage your brain. It's going to make you become a voter. You'd be out there waving your little Trump hat around at people, getting in trouble. You'll see. Frumpy wants, uh, Frumpy wants something more dorky, I think. Than what? Than me. The, yeah. uh, that kind of limits it some. There's not much dorkier than you, Vinny. Vinny, could you, if it wasn't for me, Vinny would be the king of the dorks. But I give him competition. <clears throat> you know, I was saying about uh, stepping down in a way, but I don't really think a, a person can. You always have to be ready to stand. Well, what if you're me? I'm never ready to... I am the laziest, non-violentest freaking guy you could probably ever meet now. And I started like, out the opposite, but over the years, man, fuck. It's like, I don't even want to argue. I just go, hell, number three. You know, I got my arguments number. Well, you know, there's people that do and uh, people that think and then there's people that think about doing in this world. Mm hmm I well, I, okay, I still do things. It's just the things that I do today, they're just more limited. I'm not so much about like going out and getting getting drunk in public and having a good night out, that kind of shit. I haven't done that in a long time. Exactly. I used to do it all the time up into my 40s. Didn't, didn't bother me to do that kind of stuff. I lived to do it. And now I don't even think of it very often. Now it's an extravaganza. <laughs> But the top the topic came up about Trump today at the bar. I was down there for a quick beer. Yeah, they're yeah. fascinated with the shit that's coming out of old POTUS Trump's pile. Well, people that don't know that you're in Denmark would think you're an early drinker. Well, yeah, because I go there like noon, one o'clock and have a beer or two, sometimes three. That's not drinking. That's a few beers. Drinking is when you do shots and drink beer, smoke some You're, out in the back with your friends and all that. Well, you have somebody to stand up and witness for you. Uh, 
Mr. J. Dredd, Han Solo himself, he would stand up and tell you that you're not a drunk, you're a dope hit. I'm, I never said I was drunk. I just like to go out and have an occasional beer. No, but he thinks because you have a marriage. Are, are you speaking for Hansel again? Are you a drug addict, man? Give me drugs. No. Are you kidding? Oh, there. Yeah, they told me about that down at the bar today too. It came up in conversation about people, and she says, "Oh no, we don't, we don't do it. Don't allow any of that drugs around here." And I and I said, "Yeah, but I smoke hash." And she goes, "No, not that. The uh, the you know because she thought it was the language barrier, and I was just trying to get her to make make it clear because I've smoked hash outside with other people, uh-huh. and nobody ever fucking say it's not. It, it's just." Don't be a spectacle and act like a dumbass while you do it, and nobody gives a shit. But if right. you're gonna do like go into their bathroom and do drugs, they would be pissed. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. If they caught you, they're gonna throw you the fuck out. And it's not pretty to piss these people off, but it's rare. It doesn't. The, pe- people here know the freaking rules. It's not. It's not like you know doing drugs isn't illegal everywhere in the first place. It's just. This is what the one thing we don't tolerate, you know, it's cocaine and shit like that. And it went, oh, good, I don't do any of that. Did when you, I was younger, but grew out of it. Let me ask you a serious question here. Now, somebody in the chat room would like to jump in here into radio. What would they be required to do? Get a um, a flat a uh, flash. Get a wire dot com thing and join the RLM one. And then, because we can always, if you're going to just be ridiculous, we can always end the call. Yeah, We'll hang up on you real quick. Well, I'll leave Vinny in charge of that decision, but I'm just saying, we're just fucking around on the dork table on a Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that too, but, you know, we've, sure, get a thing and jump on here. It's RLM1. Why, who wants to come in? I don't know. Somebody does, I think. We've had Moose on and Grimm and Mary. So, yeah, over the years, people have come and gone in, in and out of here. But it's more of a piece. What, me and Vinny are mean to each other because we're, we're familiar with each other. We know each other well enough to talk shit like that. But we don't do that to other people. Well, Vinny does. I do. I, I do type it. it. But when I'm on the radio, I'm fairly reasonable with a, a new face. I'm the nicest mean guy you'll ever meet. <laughs> yeah, I, absolutely. <laughs> you yeah, fucking redneck. <laughs> Look, you smile right in your face while he you pulls your liver out with. Oh, never mind. I was having a an exaggerating moment. <clears throat> Did you like my uh, mm. anal retention fan picture that I posted? Oh yeah, that is priceless. I kept that on the. Uh, I what do you call that when you uh, bookmark it? I put that one. Yeah, that's priceless. The fam. I did tease you and said was it family portraits. I saw that. Yeah, I I chose to not respond. Non responses sometimes are great. Yeah, that's what they are. You big baby. And, and then I leave you wondering. Oh my god. Did no, I, did you, I Vinny. Too far? Did I go too far? Did I? Oh, nah, did I think, we've been doing. I, nah, we've been doing this too long. Now, to this point, nah, there is no wondering anymore. I'm I'm done with all that. Well, what's your idea of entertainment, sir? I guess that would depend on my mood, but uh, it, what it entertains me uh, that I do, or what entertains me, w- other people do. Yes. Which one? Well, what other people do. Oh, well, I'm a fan film a f- fan film. I'm a film fan. I like uh, the old Rocky rolls from the, like 60s to about maybe give or take 90. Um, I like art, obviously. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but all kinds, of, just from cars to paintings, you know, art. Everything I, I look at in life I see as art. <laughs> My plants, I have these uh, avocado plants that I... They're just mutating. They're not growing uh, like a, a reproductive, good-looking avocado plant, but they're growing and they're starting to morph into these weird things. I'll take a picture and put it on wire for you sometime. Yeah. But you know, that avocado, entertains me. They they don't do well where it freezes. Uh, 
No, yeah, I know, I know, I know. They grow. Listen, avocado trees grow so huge, and they have thousands of avocados on them. Um, who was it? I think it was uh, yeah, Cherry Wilson over on Twitter. Uh, um, what is it? Something writ. Sorry. Uh, oh man, I forgot our old broadcast show name. But anyways, uh, countering the rhetoric—that's what it is. <laughs> but she's left uh, leaning uh, liberal, uh, so you take all that in cons- uh, consideration. But you know what I like about her most of all is her willingness. Do I know her? No, you don't. Oh, okay. uh, her uh, yeah, her honesty in uh, conversation. So, um, well, like Mary, Mary's like that. You know, Moose, Kate, they're pretty much place honest. Where, where you can disagree, honestly. And bring yeah. Bear. Oh, you disagree with Moose. About what? <laughs> okay. You and Moose, let me rephrase this for the, for the defendant, uh, Your Honor. <laughs> anyway, you have Your had... Friend. Dis- that will be stricken from the record, yeah, sir. Yeah, you'll, you've had disagreements, verbal disagreements, and written disagreements with Miss Moose. That's just the way it is. I've seen it with my own eyes. Heard it with my very own two ears. There you go. I Only would- because I care for Moose. That's why. If I didn't, I'd just let her run amok. Yeah, and you, yeah, you turn your back and you walk on. Yeah. Some people are just not worth fighting for. No, nothing's going to change anybody's mind. So all this arguing, it's if it's not entertaining, don't do it. If you take it to heart, oh, turn it, put it on Iggy. Yeah. But I guess I've got one of those sympathetic sides after all, and I get all uppity and think, wow, that what I just read is very sad. <laughs> you think I'm a mean person? Do I what? Or I, I was I'm... talking about people in general, not particularly no, you. I you. I realize. You're the wordsmith, though. You're always playing with words and experimenting with ideas. So you're entertaining. You're a form of entertainment. Do I make you laugh? Sometimes, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought the uh, domesticated terrorist line was uh, not funny. That wasn't the reason I brought that up. But you give me some memorable shit every once in a while through all the crap. Do you? Uh, did you like the broadcast? It was a little short, and I was expecting more, so I got to listen back to it to really get the gist of it all. Yeah, that's kind of like an intro right there. Um, I worked on it all week and, and still didn't bring it all to fruition, but I liked the, what I what I did get. I do like that. See, that's where your problem lies in the first place. You're judging shit, stupid. Stop fucking doing that. I'm going to slap you right in the forehead. No, you know what? You, your worst enemy is you, as an artist, Talking to you as an artist, criticizing your own shit is just insane. Don't do it. Just do the art the way you feel the art should be done. Oh, yeah, I'm not apologizing. And, I no, you're I not. Do. You're 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 dragging it on to make it perfect when you should just instead of perfect, just do it. That's I, That's, I can't let that worry me about. Oh, it's not perfect. I yeah, you do it. let it worry. That's my opinion, Vince. That's what I'm saying. The you're way welcome. I look onto it is as clowny around as you are in this particular case with the radio thing that you're looking to do, you want to do it perfect. That's the impression I get instead of just do it and let people judge it. Well, let me just say then, yes, you are correct. I always seek to be the best at anything I do and and usually am. But, you know, with this writing, I'm still kind of at a curve. But I don't care. I don't care if I typo, I look stupid or anything. But I take... uh, I take good, uh, I don't know, pointers, direction, uh, inspiration from from criticism, especially. So that's what I'm about. Look, I even got a daggum typo right in here, and I went back and added the apostrophe to mm-hmm. man mm-hmm. part. But this is a, a good example of paraphrased plagiarism. That, that okay, are, is your concern to please the grammar Nazis out there that are going to argue the fucking point of what you're writing – Based oh. on the style that you fucking wrote it in. Fuck them. Um, it, it, it satisfy, satisfy myself in the ability hmm. to communicate in a manner that it is received and understood. All right? Okay, but hmm, you, you're practicing on your public. Mm-hmm. And there you go. You're going to irritate I, people doing it. That's just the way the, the balance is. 
It's not a good or a bad thing. Just some people can take, uh, you know, they want more variety than others. Well, here you go. And uh, I was just. Uh, I'm not uh, doing it for nobody. Hold on. I, yeah, you I are. Do. Yeah, you are. Because I listen to you. So you're uh, doing it for me, you cheese ball. Okay, big boy. Yeah, because I get, I get good ideas out of the people that not only you, Mary and Grim and Moose and uh, she, we had Rob Works on here. We've had uh, a lot of outside people come in as guests. Well, not a lot, but a few. And the ideas that we have been discussing over the years, the important stuff stuck. And the, the not important stuff amused me. There you go. And you're part of the, you know, you're part of the group of people that brought information that was usable. Well, that's what I try to do. But I have uh, found myself to come to a point where uh, used to, I mean, all my broadcasts were always some different topic moving along in exploration, right? Mm. So, but I, I find myself uh, constrained by my position now in history. Mm. And I, I have a duty and obligation to uh, continue this witness of standing in the gap and specifically that which I am personally encountered and, and acquainted with and part of. Right. I realize that. I'm, I think in 20 years, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that this is going to be huge. Yeah. But right now, ooh, right now, <laughs> yeah, it was my turn. Anyway, <laughs> right now the wounds are fresh. They're, it's not out of the public eye long enough for people to be told stories about it that weren't there to be, you know, guided to believe the official story. So you still have witnesses that can say, hey, no, that's not what happened. But history will outweigh the witness every fucking time and expose the truth 20 years later. And by then it's, it's immaterial. Nobody will care. But right now, <laughs> see, we're on, we're on a different, we're on uh, zombie apocalypse, meteors. What are we going to eat? Soylent Green. Nestle's yeah. buying up all the water. Trump is a fucking idiot. Everything can, is bad. Right. Hmm? I, yeah. I mean, a lot of people speak from opinion, right? I have to. It's all I've got. I've got no physical proof of anything that, that, that I talk about except for what I touch. And I tell you that up front. Hey, all I can call real is what I can see and touch. And the rest of it, it's stories. Shit I hear. Maybe it's true. Me. Maybe it ain't. <laughs> Huh? Grimmer's about us. What? What? Oh, Veen says he's not doing it for nobody. That means he's doing it for somebody. <laughs> Good one. He got you. See, Wordsmith. Yeah, could that be fast, somebody? But, see, the idea, though, is that you get other people thinking of ideas to rearrange and change to make something new out of it. So, you know, there's creating which I try to do sometimes. And then there's inspiring. And that's been a lot of fun the last year. You know, coming up with like uh, bots and bodies, people got a giggle out of that. They Grim uses it. I've heard you use it. Mary, I don't know if Mary uses it. No, I don't think Mary does. But it, it was kind of fun that, that, you know, I come up with some goofy little thing and you guys, hey, that was pretty cool. I like that. So the, you know, inspiring people to think or um, to be amused and have a good time is is the goal here. This is what I think. The information and learning and all that crap, that if that was done in, in, in the guise of having a good time, it would be easier to absorb it. Hey, here's an er interesting link from uh, uh, Cheskura. You know how to you figure out how to say our, our new member here in the... No. Uh, you did fine as far as I'm concerned. It's Chaskura. Yeah. Chaskura. King of the Chaks. Chak. Chaks. Long live the Chak. Hey, but here's an interesting look here. What? 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 AI, culture, disposal, earthship, education, food, industry, morality, terraform. Gordon, read me. So the read me is his uh, humanity to do list 
the purpose of this project is to identify those items, skills, methods, understandings, and conditions necessary to the continuation of human life. No matter what other factors may be applicable, it is not the intent of this project to put people on other planets. It is simply regarded as inevitable that humans will attempt to do such things. I, I'm almost getting stopped there. How are we going to get to another planet? Should we start at the moon? That's my question. <sighs> Why? They, uh, they already failed at that a couple of times. Yeah. And they can't get, the, come on, can't be done. If it could be done, they would have done it by now. There'd be a McDonald's on the fucking moon. Well, You'd there you stroked. go. Continue reading. It says right here, accessible outcome of this project is the availability of Italian and Thai food on the moon. There you go. And until you can, you know, call the moon and have them deliver you a freaking meal, there ain't no fucking, nobody's going to the moon. We're... Well, hey. Well, well, we live among people that are, you know, they're guided and, and led by greed and uh, amassing. I want the, I want all I see. It's mine, 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 mine. And it, uh, that's... For the listeners there that aren't in chat to see this link, <laughs> at uh, github.com, Chaskura, C-H-O-S. But I was pontificating on my dark opinion about stuff. You are a fourth class humanities to do list. Well, yes, and uh, for the further ponderance, and now you can go back to being in un un uninterrupted, sir. Well, you know the assumption that uh, if people didn't have jobs and horse shit like that, you know, and well, if they weren't all told what to do, they wouldn't do anything. Have never lived through a uh, a disaster that cuts you from the society. Once you get cut from that society you, where you can't 911 and the water's not working, you can't flush a toilet, shit like that changes people. Yeah. And they, yeah. all of a sudden, they, they want to be uh, part of the answer. Huh. You, you know, know what? Here we, go. I, we had a big, big ice storm here out power for over three weeks. And it laid trees down across my road, huge pine trees, you know, what you could reach around to hug. And uh, I had to cut cut my way out. Me and my neighbor we went on with chainsaws and cut a road to a massive timber lay down. Wow. You've had we quite the working life, sir. We didn't uh, wait for rescue, sir. Mm. We did not shelter in place. Mm. Okay, what did you do? We cut our way out. We made a way. Yeah, and then? Well, then we was able to go about doing things until the power is back on that otherwise needed power to do. See how that works? You know yeah, what but I did? You're, what? I would like bottles, and I'd let them freeze outside. Then you transfer those inside your – and I would use the Yankee American word of refrigerator, what mm -hmm. I call an ice box, mm -hmm. which uh, ironically became an ice box mm -hmm. by playing ice inside the refrigerator mm -hmm. during a power outage and you know what else you can do with that water after it's not ice hmm. drink it hmm. well up here in the winter time it, it doesn't doesn't get much warmer than about 30 freezing temperature give or take it's cold enough that whatever's outside isn't gonna thaw <laughs> it's going to stay cold so we can leave things on the porch here during the winter time, and they don't get so frozen that you can't, you know, takes a week to thaw them out. It's just, so it's like just enough. Well, I give you another little secret. If you'll take some bottles and uh, put them in your freezer, mm -hmm. if you've got like space in there, mm -hmm. and it won't take as much energy to keep everything else cold because you're maintaining that. That full. Oh, yeah. Make it make it think it's full. Now, do you put anything in the bottle first, or do you just put an empty bottle in there to full it? Yeah, well, uh, you got to put water in there. See, there you go. Well, hey, yeah. I would assume people might not know. The uh, weight of the bottle is going to fool the machine to thinking, you know, hey, we're no. full in here, because you are full. But. Because cold air doesn't stay cold as long as cold water, right? Doesn't? Cold uh -huh. air doesn't Probably not, or you wouldn't be able to have glaciers. I wouldn't have the mass to it. Well, I, I'm no Al Gore, but I'll tell you. <laughs> I know ice when I see it. 
I recognize ice. You know how I know what ice is? Uh, because the government told you? It's No, because you just did. It's that cold, wet stuff that you get out of the refrigerator. <laughs> ice, ice. Babe. I not, learned it at that dark table. <laughs> not, it is not out of the refrigerator, sir. It is out of the freezer, which the refrigerator can sometimes be confused with the ice box, which the ice box or freezer can be confused as well. Yeah, you know, I had a friend uh, and I says, hey, put this in the ice box for me, will you? Mm-hmm. So later on, I go to look for it and I go, hey, what'd you do with it? And he says, I put it in the ice box. I'm looking everywhere. I don't see it. And he comes in there, opens the freezer where the ice, the box where ice is, <laughs> is made, I guess, and kept. <laughs> well, you know, you know, Circle is like a, um, thinks about the environment and shit like that. See a tree hugger? Mm, she's a dog hugger, but she yeah. she really well she likes her. She came from the city to this, I guess. So she likes her little bit of wilderness they got in the beach and whatnot. They didn't have that same the same uh, excess ac- access to what there is here. They, it was more crowded where she was at at all. A lot more people. So you wouldn't have the privacy of being able to walk your dog on the beach and virtually be un you know alone. Because this place is just not populated. And it's like a, a five-minute walk up the road. So, well, I don't know. I just think that uh, when you get in life, when the life brings you the things that you want, you find less reasons to complain. You know? And where you live doesn't matter to me. It mattered to her. Well, it mattered to me in the sense of I saw the city coming. And I just commented to her about it. And she said, you know, you're right. Let's get out of here. That's and a good thing. Man, it, well, the whole relationship was just like, this is what was supposed to be doing. I don't know. It's hard to explain. I feel more comfortable in a foreign country than I did when I was living where I'm from. And I never was comfortable. I was always looking for another place that was, you know, less restrictive, I think. It's always too many rules wherever I was. And here I am in this socialist freaking uh, country. Now, I call it a socialist country. They got freaking high taxes. Everything costs an arm and a fucking leg, blah, blah, blah. But the people that live here, they they seem to treat each other uh, in a social way. They treat each other just fine. Oh, and they, I was saying the uh, automation came to the Quickly store I go to. To get my groceries in town. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they put in two of those automated lines. And people, I saw one person finally break down and use it. But if you, should she, have, you, should have, you should have stopped them right then and there what? and warned them of the peril and of their non-good deeds and theft, matter of fact. That's right. You know what? They try to, when it, I go to Walmart and they try to get like, hey, we got you self checkout. I said, that's theft. Theft. How? I then don't they understand. Say, oh, what... yeah, yeah. We catch people trying to steal stuff here all the time. I said, no, it's a theft by the corporation of Walmart is stealing jobs. Oh, jobs. Okay. There you go. Yeah, I'm yeah. not, I'm not going to do the job that somebody else is there making money to do. Right. Well, so I'm okay. About, I always look for my friend Kathy when I go gotcha. to Walmart to gotcha. check out. Because you know why? No. Because I can put my groceries up on the checkout roller thing there and they roll down and I put my stuff in the order, which they group together, you know, stuff that needs to be called together. It's in, you know, most of these, I say most, a good portion of these checkers, checker outers, they'll look, I mean, what, they'd set a gallon of milk on a, a dozen eggs type of thing, right? Right, right. People that have no sense. But, yeah, you know, yeah. you've got to encourage these people to learn and point it out when they're being stupid and say, listen, let me help you here. Now watch me. But I'm out here in Denmark and I don't have to. But I'm not going to do it in a self-checkout line. No, sir. I well, will not. Well, I'm, I'm, right. Wait. Calm down. It, well, when oh. it brought it up to Cirque, the Dane in the family, okay. she says, well, yeah, the people here are going to, they're the kind that, uh, they want to see a hundred other people do it first. And the people that use it, the one I saw today looked like from Copenhagen. It looked like didn't look like a local. Had a child and just was too comfortable with the whole concept. And everybody else, we're all just, we got two cashiers, and we're all just fucking waiting in line. Fuck this. I ain't using the automated. We're right. old people. We're not young people. 
And even the young people are waiting in line with their stuff. They're not using the automation. You need to tell them that you want to speak. <laughs> I need to tell. I don't need to do anything. Listen to me, sir. I want, you, <laughs> I want you to give me contact with these people. I want to speak with the manager of that establishment. And he'd probably be happy to it. talk to you, too, you Listen, freaking maniac. If you won't do it, I'll do it for you, sir. Okay, do do what for me? What? How are you going to help me, Vinny? I'm, I'm <laughs> Warn me now. The damn thing in there to start with. Uh, no, you're not. Yes, I will. No, you won't. Why won't it? Because you won't. <sighs> call, call him up right now. You got a telephone? They got telephones over? Of course they got telephones over. They got internet, telephones, cameras, all kinds of shit. It's almost it's almost as civilized and modern as where you are. You have four one one over there? Do we got what? Four one one. What's that? You guys are in trouble. Well, I don't I don't use whatever they fucking have, so it doesn't matter. What is it you're telling me? You're asking me. I'm what is four one one? You. Who? What? Okay, what? Okay, UD, not found. Maybe there's a real Atlantis. Okay. That's a, I guess a... No, that a, was Chaskara. Mm. All right, let's try it in a different what? way. I don't care. You're, you're dragging me through dead dead water here, mister. Okay. Try that. <laughs> Still not found. Well, the point of the story, besides your crazy nonsense now, is that... Uh, the local people are not going to accept this for a while. But the people that own this place, they'll, they've got more time. They'll wait it out because they'll just train the younger ones to do it. So in 10 years, there won't be a need for a checkout. They can do away with that if they want to. If you were a superhero and you were known as Fear, would you wear a cape? No. I, what are you talking I wouldn't be one of them. Stop it. You're putting words. Uh, you're, no, your friend's slaving and fucking uh, j- no, Jay dreading me right now, about. putting words in my mouth. Of, it was an inside joke of which you are no party to because you're not over here. <laughs> and, Listen, I can tell you what it is. I don't want to go. Oh, no, no, no. No, don't no. no. Oh, hey, wait. Let, me, let me tell you a little secret, Vinny. Don't tell anybody about this. This is between me and you. I have a wife. My wife's name is Circle. Her computer screen is right in front of me. I can see it from where I'm sitting. So, Asshole. yeah. <laughs> Big <Lurker>. deal. <laughs> it's, it's the way she likes it. She likes to sit next to me at this desk. I even customized a desk out of secondhand oh, stuff knows. just because I wanted a place where we could sit with computers together. Isn't that, you know, that that's one of those like, well, you freak. Like a, <laughs> Fucking sick guys, fucker. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you should get a joint account on Twitter and tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> I haven't been on Twitter. <laughs> Grimner tried to get me. I opened it, but I didn't, I haven't reopened it since. So, yeah. Now, the, the the world is a it's just a big joke to me, man. I, I'm in this little pocket, this place, in faraway land. And, <coughs> and the rest of the world is reporting to me in both word and print that it's <coughs> falling apart. We'll, we'll this see. This is pretty clever. You see this from Course Career? Uh, course Career. No, I don't open links while I'm chatting, you bonehead, unless I'm reading the link. I have it's from Wikipedia, but it's still. Uh, I don't Wikipedia, man. Stop with the listen, Wikipedia. Listen Funny, watch, watch, what, watch. What, 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 what? Cook, cook what? it all. Cook it you know, all. all instead of cook it all. I thought that was kind of funny. Caught my eye. I'm gonna open. Well, that's because you're insane, though. You know that, right? Oh crap! It's on. Uh, See, study consensus. I, do, I. You do realize you're just. Out there, you're diagnosable. Man. We could probably, really? we could probably get you some really good drugs, taking you to a shrink. Hey, do you realize what consensus really means? Uh, they, wait, they, really we, means? Are, wait, are you asking me what the word I was taught what it means? That's what I know. Okay, well okay. let me. Because consensus isn't the kind of word you can pick up off the table and look at. Hey, you see my consensus? 
it's, it's a perfect. concept. It's an idea. So be more, yeah, come on. You want to trap me in your little word games? It's You're a gonna, trick. Yeah. It's a stalking horse. Okay. And you yeah, refer to that a lot, but maybe there's people that are not familiar with what that is. <laughs> it's transparent. Is transparency a good thing? That depends on the definition of the word transparent. It's consensus. Does it not? It's consensus, not when everybody comes together in an agreement. Uh oh. Get him, get him, get him, get him. See, uh -huh. he's a consensus of the anti consensus uh, uh, false front. So, what do you get? Consensus. Everybody comes together and say, okay, we'll accept this. So, an acceptance, whether it be good or bad, is it a good thing or a bad thing? Then you have the false front where it presents itself as a good thing or the one you can't even see because it's transparent. You see right through it, not seeing into the inside of it, but mm. right through. Lies, all lies, I say. I've been agreeing with that concept for a long time. I think everything's based on a lie. If we or, were told the truth, we'd, I mean, if people were openly spoken, you heard the truth from the people in charge, they'd hang them. George Bush said that himself. If the people knew what we did, they'd hang us. And the people don't know. They're clueless as a, a collective. And then there's this fringe, internet people and book people, you know, people that, that pay attention to shit, people that have mental illness. And we know the truth about life, and we discuss it openly. So they're going to make this a mental illness. Oh, I got a link about it. I don't think I'll read this one. Go ahead, Vinny. Do no say it. Take the mic for a bit, and then when you're finished, I got a link I want to do. No, you do. Go ahead first. Okay, I'm gonna post it, and it might be a rerun, but this is important shit. I mean, if you're, we do the dork table to clown around and have fun, but things are changing, and the things that are changing are really important, and they're not physical things that are changing. They're things you got to think about. And this is one of them I'd like to bring to your attention on the dork table today. And it's from Off the Grid News, Better Ideas for Off the Grid Living. And I posted it in the RLN, but it didn't give it a, a it didn't give it a title. The bots don't always um, title the links anymore for some reason. Now, it says here, is free thinking a mental illness? Is nonconformity and free thinking a mental illness? According to the newest edition of the DSM 1V6 Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, it certainly is. The manual identifies a new mental illness called Oppositional Defiant Disorder, or ODD. Defined as an ongoing pattern of disobedient, hostile, and deviant behavior. Symptoms include questioning, authority, negativity, defiance, argumentativeness, and being easily annoyed. <laughs> there you go. Ding, 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 ding. We got your name in there. But we got you plus. Point. Okay, Vincent. I mean, yep. for just, just a brief moment, I mean, you live here where the this applies to you. How does that make you feel? Doesn't stop me. I, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about controlling your ass. Nobody's going to do that. I'm just saying, I just wanted to talk. But how does that make you feel to be threatened like that by the system? Not well, I was, is it going to stop you? None of that nonsense. I mean, how does it make you feel? Well, I was thinking, uh, trying to think of a good meme of case into that idea where the best I can come up with is... Uh, they thought it's crazy when we danced in the rain. Okay, the now you're just proving the link is right. Yes. Okay. Well, well stop tap dancing around. Uh, I, I, for those that cannot hear the music, we do appear. Inside. Oh, okay. You're using a quote. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. But how does see that doesn't answer the question though? I mean, you're not a you're not intimidated by the state, obviously, with your history, but. Don't you have personal feelings about how this stuff makes you feel? Whether you're strong enough to fight it or not, it's still there. 
See. Let me put it this way then. Hmm. A friend of mine says that uh, I w- was on one side of the line or the other, and I was talking about this the other day. It's a point in how you bear on that point, whether you direct or redirect. Now, uh, somebody, somebody might say that you had backed down if you skirted around and made a free approach, but I think that there's, uh, there's wisdom in, in that because you don't want to end up rolled over. You got your speakers playing in the background. Me? Yeah. No. Back. No. There's Are you guys hearing the echo? A little bit, but only when you're talking. That's it's that's talking. just the service it, or the connection or something. No, we we're, we're just sitting here. Cirque's playing on our computer. So what and, was uh, I saying? Oh, crying out loud! You're gonna make me re- run. I, well, what I brought up was that they're making free thinking a mental illness in America. Okay, this is not here yet. This well, is yeah, there. Well, manipulating the mind. They've been doing this for a very long time. Well, I, I, I know you know that. Vince, that's not the point. I mean, you're you're not a coward about facing the system, but it's got to make you feel something. But what what does that make you feel? I mean, to me, it's it just makes me, uh, it makes me feel that I have to actually go in there into that uh, that fray, into the gap, and stand there. I have to. Go whether I be uh, um, comfortable with it or not to be able to go in and make approach. When uh, when they were kicking uh, Joshua Martinez out of the federal courthouse for the, the second time, mm. and I was there and I I followed them out. I went into the elevator. They wouldn't let nobody else in the marshals, and I said, "I'm a man's witness." Oh uh, yeah, and then you had your little magic card. Yeah, that's and right. I, uh, People and, do not really uh, – they don't appreciate if, if you know how to play the game, then you play the game, and that's how the game is played. And the people looking onto it have no clue about what's really important to get you physically into that. And that plastic card is what it was. When, when we were at the, finally down at the door, and uh, I have questions for this marshal in his action. He threatens to uh, charge me with interfering in the uh, – whatever the, how they put it in the legal and i just put my hands up and took one step back and i said i am a witness and so that was enough that amount of redirect the movement to me and obviously demonstrated to him that i was not you know like this uh threat of force that was going to somehow oh yeah yeah no no yeah. you were just there to watch just to right. make a record because uh, right. you got your nice guy suit too you wear you wear that really good you do the friendly yeah friendly redneck guy just no threat to anybody until you you know stick something in my eye but that's how i see you yeah well some yeah. people see it where people skirt the issue but you have to uh always be in uh be able to move out of the the uh, pathway you know how talks about this behind the woodshed you know the 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 pattern of this beast, this occupation, and how it moves. So knowing how to avoid being trampled and consumed is very important, right? Mm-hmm. That's what we need to learn. We don't have to demonstrate over uh, our superiority over anybody that, uh, you know, well, I can't back down. Well, there there is moving or redirecting without back down, and you're still in that gap. And the, the thing is, is you don't want to get trampled. Uh, if you imagine, I'm imagining in my mind down there in the uh, the when they release the cows out there in about here we go from uh, Bundy back there to Bun- uh, Bundyville or Bunkerville that is, um, and the cows coming through now. Anybody that had any sense is not going to stand in front of them cows, right? That cow coming out. I'm a city boy. What do I know? Yeah, I see a herd of cows walking at me. I I think I'm going to attack them, Finny. No, I'm going to well, get the hell out of the way. Worried. And one time I, I was fighting with his mama cow, hmm. trying to get her to move. Yeah. And she's just running back and forth down the way. And finally I was like, all right, I'm going to see if I can play chicken with this cow. And she's coming and I'm like, oh, you ain't going to do it. And I said the very last minute, I said, I think uh, she's going to not move. So I moved and she moved at the same time. And I rubbed the other end on her head. But wow. Sometimes wow. you got to do that. You got to stand there to the last minute. Yeah. Without okay. Them. What about the the what about those of us that, for whatever reason, don't encounter any substantial 
violence. Well, I mean, I'll my life is peaceful and quiet, and you know, people keep their hands off me. But I didn't I grow don't... up that way. I grew up, and then it stopped, and now here we are. Well, I don't encourage you to go out and pick up a stick and go seeking out rights you might correct. And hey, you know, I could go all American on these people and go out there and demand my rights be recognized because, hey, I've got a bill of rights. Nan, nan, and boo boo. Wonder what that would get me. Probably beat up. Well, I don't know. You know, instead of just being alive and doing what's reasonable, which everybody already knows in the first place. You know, learn a foreign language to be a, a decent human being in a public setting. So the only thing, in my opinion, that will ever cause me any trouble will actually be communicating. And when I tell reasonable people that, they, send, they tend to agree that it, it seems that most of our personal problems with other people come from talking to them. If you don't talk to them, how can you have a fucking problem with somebody that never gives you anything to be a problem about? But, see, we interact. <laughs> magic, baby. That's all I got to tell you. You need a little magic in your life. Some people you know that, are like you, and they want to see the fucking fire, man. <laughs> you know, the second time I used my magic card was uh, after the uh, 1 October event in Vegas, the mass shooting up there. And I went there and uh, to do a, a walk around I handed it to a cop. He was yeah. all like, whoa, 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 you can't go there. And, yeah, I, I yeah, yeah. and I walked up and I handed him my card. And then mm -hmm. he spoke. To me. Mm -hmm. Well, you know how many people abuse that, what you did? And they, they, they abuse what they got. And <laughs> they don't tell the truth, Vince, is what I'm saying. No, that's what I found to be the case for yeah. uh, mainstream media. Okay. And, they tell the yeah. story. Listen, let me tell you this. They tell the story and they slant it, right? Mm -hmm. and then, then when somebody comes along that has, let's say me, for instance, and I have my opinion and my witness and testimony to the matter, and then I'm said to be uh, biased. Well, I think we all are, and we, we all tell our story the way uh, we see it, right? Well, yeah, of course. And there's but, nothing wrong with but that. But still, it, right? well, if 12 people are going to look on the same thing, the odds of them all agreeing to see the same thing are very slim when you think about it. So the last thing I'd ever want in my life would be to j be judged by 12 me's. Yeah, that, that's that would yeah. be freaking horrible. You know, if I had to, if I was like, I don't know, I guess they'd have to force me to do I don't know how you'd be forced to do it. I wouldn't willingly participate in something like that because if I did, I'd be so freaking anal about the details that it would drive everybody insane. Because you're talking about punishing somebody from a third-party stand. You didn't witness what they did. You're only hearing about it or seeing pictures or stained clothes or whatever the fuck the evidence, you know, TV shows you, right? So, man, I'd be like, man, what if I'm wrong about everything? So I could never find a... a a way to balance it out. I'd always be leaning toward maybe they didn't do it. Well, that would be a good juror, I'd say. Because you're supposed to be given the benefit of the doubt, right? I mean, without real fucking some kind of proof that everybody recognizes as proof. I'm not talking about fingerprints and DNA and all that horse shit. I'm talking about uh, fit not... Not eyewitness accounts or any of that, because sure, I I saw him do it. Sure, what? Yeah, be, there could what be there could be fingerprints there, and they could be there legitimately, right? Right. It, oh man, there's so many ways to manipulate the truth to the layman, because the layman is listening to the beginning and listening to the end, but they can't can they can't contain the crap in the center, so they know the first and the last, and that seems to be about as, the end of it. And then when, like, they go out and make these videos for YouTube asking, you know, young people questions, history, places, geography, shit like that, common fucking things, and half of them don't have a clue what they're being asked. Well, you know what? When a person ends up in the courtroom uh, facing those uh, 12 honest men, uh, they're already most generally assumed to be guilty by most people sitting there in judgment, or they think, well... 
They've got to have done it or they wouldn't be here. Yeah, but I was taught the opposite, Vince. Well, I think the world's a little different place these days. True. But still, I grew up like you did, sort of, I think. In that, in that, uh, the other, you know, you give the guy a break until you, you know, just you hear something doesn't mean a lot. It means you heard something. whoop de doop I'm trying to remember how this, I heard, I think it was Ammon said something else. Ammon Bundy was uh, from, there's you poking out. Hold on. Yeah, but he, he said something about how liberty hey, is mental. lost inch by inch, inch by inch lost. I don't, or, yeah, but I, I'm getting all crazy from mental. I know. No, I appreciate that mental, but uh, I just think I've lived a life and I'm just telling people what have made, this is what makes sense to me about it. Either you agree or you don't. And if you don't, maybe you should at least think it through. <laughs> you might even find a better answer than the shit I find. Who knows? We're a bunch of energy bouncing off each other and we think we know shit. It's really, it's, it's an interesting life. I couldn't so, create this myself. This this had to be created for me because I would have never dreamed of all of this. <laughs> this is just too wild. I got a sneeze trying to sneeze. Oh, up. is that why you were so? Okay. Well, do you want me to? Oh, let me go back to my little. Uh, I was reading about mental illness, my fellow dorks and dorkettes out there in Radio Land. Off of the story called off, or thing called off the grid news, and I got through the first paragraph. And uh, I strayed and started asking Vinny questions he wouldn't answer. So I'm going to pick a, pick back up on the story. But where I left off was uh, odd, oppositional defiant disorder, and according to these people, we all have that. So wow, you can be made a target of by uh, the state now. And back, they'll be backed up by the medical profession. So, hmm. this is uh, kind of frightening, I think. For me, reading about it, it doesn't make me want to return to my motherland. You know what I mean, Vinny? Or not? Are you not there? I guess Vinny went out to go water the cactus. So, anyway, back to the story. The DSM-6 is the manual used by psychiatrists. Did I already read that paragraph? Uh, maybe not. To diagnose mental illness, and with each new edition, there are scores of new mental illnesses. Are we becoming sicker? Is it getting harder to be mentally healthy? <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Wow. Authors of the DSM-6 say that it's because they're better able to identify these illnesses today. Critics charge that it's because they have too much time on their hands. <laughs> Are you back there? Yeah. I, was, hey, I went your back, to, back. Turn to, your mic back down a little bit for me, would you? What do you mean down? The volume? Yep. Yeah. No. You're out. You turn uh, down. How down? I don't know. Did you turn it down? Yeah. No, I turned it down, you butt nugget. Sounds loud. Well, then. I was trying to turn it down over turn here. Your, turn it's yours loud. down. If it's loud on your end, it's you, you bonehead. Am I, I too be loud? my fault. If, too loud? You're listening to it. <laughs> I don't know. Don't you want me to right, judge your right. sanity? Now, after the shit I just read, you're going to ask right, me turn. to judge your sanity in any way? Turn, turn mine to 50. What do you got yours on? Um, I don't know. 26. <laughs> I don't know. The dog's barking. Uh, uh, uh. Now, are you done crying and whining or not? Oh, I'm not done, sir. You're not. I don't know. I See, because I don't know. Is that okay? You're insane. Check one, two, not three. everybody gets to work with a mentally insane as I do. <laughs> hey, help me out here. What do you do? Need? A check one, two. Check, check one. Check. Check my check. 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 Do it. Checkmate. Check. <laughs> Checkmate. Checkmate. How's that sound? Can we get? I'm only? fine. You're no, you're I the one sleep. with the problem, not me. <laughs> Don't put problems in my Let's plate see. that I didn't put on the plate. Yeah. Hannah's on my side, Mister. So Hannah's just mind. saying hi to all our friends at RLM. She loves Love. everybody the same. She's a dog. Dogs, man, dogs are so cool. <laughs> dogs don't care who you are. 
give a flying fuck about none of that. They just go, wow, oh, human. They jump on you. Well, they, maybe not they, jump on you, but they, you know, they interact with you. Read, read that in, in the JFK. Me? Yeah. In the JFK. I don't know what in the JFK means. Kennedy. Huh? Yeah. Oh, the very yeah. word oh, from uh, the quote. Uh, and I don't do a Kennedy, I don't think. Let me try. All right, all right. The very word, say, could say, is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently historically opposed to sacred societies, to sacred oaths, and to sacred proceedings. Not Thank bad. You. Not I have bad. no idea. I'm just thinking that, in that my was... head what I've heard he sounded like. Because he had that weird Boston accent thing going on. I, I saw him hanging around with a lot of them. Yeah, I saw John F. Kennedy speaking when you were saying it. Yeah, it's good. You did good. Well, appreciate that, Vinny. I don't know. It's just played. We're playing around on the dork table on a Saturday. Yeah. And I said it's very China. traditional uh, Catholic dogma. You think? I, didn't, I don't see how that is. Because um, Catholic. Kind of secret uh, dogma. Well, no, he was talking about the college and the what they call now the deep state. That's all this oh, stuff I, is. It's just the I, secret societies that really run everything, and uh-huh. people are just they're they're not in tune in their own life enough to understand that if you're in control of something, you're going to leave heirs. This is how this is how the Catholic Church grew. You know, they got all that shit about. Uh, uh, abstinence and these uh, their priests could not were not allowed to marry under any circumstances and the public took that as oh these are men of god and they're you know they're abstinent and all that no they weren't allowed to reproduce and have heirs because the church could lose property over it so they weren't allowed to marry for money <laughs> so they diddled the little kids instead that's very Hey, um, this isn't just an opinion of a dork. I'm telling you, I've read plenty of stuff about these here religious folks. They've paid off hundreds of millions of dollars in history to, you know, to shut people up after they sued them. Okay, we're going to settle out of court. Fuck it. You, you're, we won't admit we did anything, but here, here's some money. Shut up. And there you go. And that's how we live. Everything's okay as long as somebody's paid off so that the crime can continue. You know? Right. People don't fucking learn nothing because in your own personal life, things aren't that damn bad. <laughs> if you're on the internet listening to the radio show that me and Vinny do, you're probably having a decent life, I would say. I wouldn't think you're having a bad time of, of doing anything. Maybe you don't like your job or something, or you don't like some people, but... You, Probably have a normal life, whatever that is, average, like us. Not uh, extravagant, just you know, comfortable. Whatever comfort is, because it's not you can't put a dollar value on comfort. Some people require. I've had periods of time in life where I wanted to live in that big house, <laughs> so that was my goal. Now I don't want that anymore. I wanted to drive that car, so hey. I did. Hey, can I drive your car? Sure. Here's drive drive the car. Have fun. Uh, yeah, fun. Well, hey, I uh, I met some traditional Catholics while I was in Spokane. Oh, was, are we playing judge a Catholic? I'm. Yeah, maybe a little bit. They uh, yeah. uh, they're called traditional hmm. Catholics, which mean uh, they were against the Pope. They called it uh, the the seat is absent. They say the Pope is the Antichrist. Pretty interesting people. There was a, a nunnery there. Or that's it's not a nunnery. It was something that uh, they had nuns there, but there was a place where women went to uh, spend this time to decide if they were really going to become a nun. And I would say pretty neat. Uh, a priest. I met him and spoke with him and then the the uh, the brothers, the nuns. It was I, you wouldn't really expect a nun to be all like all solemn and quiet and stuff. <laughs> I one, wouldn't know. How would I? How would I expect them would, to be anything? I would not. I never knew that I what to expect to know. Mm. One sister. Yeah, she was, that's where I am. Was skateboarding, dude. Yeah, uh, skateboarding. 
know, having fun mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, talking. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a, a pretty cool experience. But you know, religion. Yeah, how do you judge somebody by their religion? Or I don't. Or, I try not. I I don't know. See, that's my biggest problem is I can't take it seriously myself. So when I see other people take it seriously, it's still to me it's, it's some kind of a I don't know. Well, when I was uh, I don't know when to, to compare it to actually. Uh, I thought it was Sunday today, so today wasn't a bad, was wasn't a good day to, to use. But when when I go into to the bar, I gotta pass the church in the beginning of town. And some days people are all decked out in fancy clothes in front of the church, and some days they're not. And I don't know if it's because that's where they were meeting because they were doing something in town, or if they're coming from the church. But the church is usually empty. So, hmm. there's not a lot of religion going on here. Well, look this guy, Chaskura, or Gal. Uh, Wait a minute. So ask if you don't know. Give us an easier name. That's just mean. Well, we can't make people. Well, change. then write Cho. Yeah, we'll we just can, say Cho. There you go. Well, yeah, we can call him whatever. And go, hey, Cho. Cho is not. No, that's not cool. Cho. I don't want to write it all out. Don't. Well, then I won't. Then stop well, being a big baby. Don't tell it. I'm not the one <laughs> complaining about the name. You are, you big baby. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. Are dark. you being sensitive on the dark table today? Hey, you know, guess... oh, let, wait, let me uh, let me point over here to uh, Chaskura and uh, Oh, Sam. okay. Yeah. So he's talking was uh was Rome pagan or Christian? Well, uh he marched <laughs> through the uh the river there and baptized them. You know, so they came out the other side. I don't know. I just know what I can see and what I see is not what I read. That's just shit to play with. Fun stuff. The physical oh, like world that. is way different than the emotional ass whipping you get in the written world. The written world just wants to tear everybody down and make them feel bad. The physical, you know, eyesight world, that's different. People are great until they fucking talk to you. So, there you go. I have a I good can't. time. I have a good time here in this country because I don't speak their language. So, I don't give a shit what anyone's saying about anything. It's easier that way. For me, maybe not for you. Other people might not be able to pull this off. It wouldn't be a, a something they'd feel good with. But then on the other hand, so many people speak English here. It's like, it, it's not it's not that big a deal. You know, it would be a matter of courtesy now. To at least speak back in their native tongue, even in, in it with a broken English. <laughs> You know, the, the, it would be like Danglish to me. Well, you seem really could. concerned about my personal business. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I heard or, somebody out. Oh, uh, were you being stalked? Maybe. Hey, were you being stalked by the stalker? Maybe. Is she I out there? Is she looking at you through the window? Huh? 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 Or does well, she does she stalk you from down the street with a pair of binoculars? It's Vinny's. Girlfriend storage locker. How can I help you? Hey, how would you stock somebody? If you wanted to stock somebody, how would you do it? Uh, with paper, you like make a value, hmm. sell it. Hey, what happened to my neck? Didn't work. Oh, I got, I got, yeah. Pretty clever. I, you'd, yeah, you'd sell yeah. their stock. Oh, there I am. Right. Vinny Victus. There you go. Thanks. Uh, uh, however you say your name. <laughs> Who, who is Jew Zeus? <laughs> <laughs> the chatter. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh, I needed a giggle. Okay. Wow. I, I don't spend a lot of time reading the chat. So. Oh, wait a minute. He changed his name. She did? I'm going to call her. Jew Zeus. Up. I don't I gotta know. Say it. Uh, a non gender. Famous. Why is it so important? Are you looking for a partner? What's your thing, man? Mr. Solitude out there in fucking you know Arkansas. You know how I am with, with words. I've got to have it all straight. Hey, oh, and congratulations to Rob Works, too. 
Him, him, him and his tribe found a new place to reside the other day, if I read it yeah. correctly. That's right. Well, he's, you know, he's one of the regulars here at the dork table. He usually hiding out in the background somewhere. So I wanted to recognize his good fortune. Yeah, he's my neighbor. Yeah, but you know, that's how good stuff comes back is by being good. You know, to people when shit happens instead of jealous or envious or whatever all that other shit is. Well, you know, speaking Rob, and there he is. There's my yeah. There you go. But because my yeah, yeah, my because we're, he's he's into the wavelengths, Vinny. You got to think about this. I am too. Yeah. I, well, I'm eh, I'm like a lurker. I'm on the outside looking in because in my real physical life, I don't have any. Bad shit to worry about. I'm good just like I, just being the dumb shit I am now is good enough. I don't have to work at nothing. <laughs> so I like it like that. You know, I don't uh, particularly want to have to perform like a train seal in public to survive in public. Did you see what uh, Victus means? No. Was I supposed to? Why don't you talk? I don't feel like freaking reading Vinny Victus, you creeper. <laughs> the fan of white corrected you too. Grimner, <laughs> Vinny Victus is a creeper. Wow, you're getting slammed today, mister. And you're such a nice guy. It's a shame. I, I can take it. I'll bet you, I'll, yeah, I'll bet you Donna would be slapping us all right now if she were here to read this on the chat. Defending her boy in Arkansas. What do you think? I don't know. Tell me again. Let me see if he'll sink in. Try to. I said if Donna Van Meter was here, she would be protecting you from all us heathen scum making fun of you right now. You think? Yeah, she likes you. You're one of her favorites. You're, yeah. you're, yeah, you're out of the two of us. Well, oh, fuck yeah, you're the likable guy. And me, oh, I. What was that? I'm, that was one from yesterday, at Nick. It was. Uh, I can't remember the word it was now. It was yeah, the likable guy. Yeah, yeah, but you are, you know, the two, because uh, I don't know. My my behavior is sometimes a little bit on the mean side. They tell me. I get Moosey to come on. At you? There's Moosey. Hey. I'm Moosey. <laughs> yeah, this is her la- her neighbor lady was yakking about her dogs barking. I'd rather hear a dog bark, wouldn't you? Than old lady yakking. Hey, you know what? When Hannah goes on her tangents, I just think dogs bark. What are you supposed to, you know, unless you train them. Not, and then I don't want to, I didn't want to go through all that with her. And the proper way to do it is to go to the training sessions with the dog. So you learn what the dog learns and you both learn it together. And that makes the bond with the dog a lot tighter. So when you call that dog, that dog's coming. Boom. And I didn't really feel necessary, you know, it wasn't necessary to raise a dog like that here. Wanted a more free, happy dog. It kind of thinks for itself. So she's she's a bit of a handful, but she's not dangerous. She's just free. Well, she's just good a doggy. And nobody will ever break into this freaking house and get past her because the sound, that's what she does. She barks. <laughs> And we got neighbors. Oh, the poor neighbor next door got ill. I think I mentioned it behind. Uh, a few, yeah, he's still not. You know, things are still bad. So, you know, we're keeping an eye out for him on, on his property and whatnot. And we, of course, have Hannah. So if anybody goes. And then there's a dog on the other side of them. So they're, they're right in the middle of, you know, dog hell. But while they're out, out of the house and they need their house protected, they don't need a dog because their neighbors got them. <laughs> And this is how this society it, it works itself out without anybody told to do anything or trying to do anything. It just seems like life just kind of unfolds, and you, your needs are met if you look look around. Don't expect the moon or anything, but <laughs> normal shit will work itself out if you just let it. Yeah, but sometimes you can help it along. We've got some good ideas and suggestions here in the chat room. For Moose and her, and her yakking neighbor, get a rooster. Barking <laughs> ordinance. Yeah, talking wow. about. Oh, uh, that's just sad. See, people in their control and their lack of, and their lack of, 
they lack something to the word isn't tolerate it's to um, survive inconveniences that are you know not that big a deal but they're annoying like a dog barking a lot it, it's a fucking annoying but you can train yourself I guess if you wanted to to, to live with it as the bill for having security <laughs> That dog may someday save your life because it barks when it hears crap. Right? Yeah. yeah. And the other day, I don't think I mentioned on the radio, but the other day, Dr. Cooper went and killed himself a mouse out in, out in the yard. And that's his job. So he was, And he was showing me. He had the damn thing. He was sitting over it. And it was dead. He killed it look already. How, look how lucky you are, buddy. Uh, You've got a wife. Yeah. Look, yeah. See, she's giving uh, Moosey some good advice. Hmm. So it's to buy her a potted plant, a beautiful one, and write her a card and to thank you for her patience. Hmm. See, now I was going to say, see? I would get my dog crap in her yard or maybe on her front porch. So see the wisdom, the wisdom that you, you can find here. Well, solitude makes people angry, too, sometimes. Not everybody, like Grimner likes the solitude, okay? I'm one of those. I think I do. I spend an incredible amount of time during the day where I have... I can do whatever the fuck I please. And did you I know, uh, 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 plus somewhere? Did what, you? Yeah, uh, uh, did you and, know? Did I what? It's four twenty somewhere. Plus oh yeah, one. got one. I didn't know that. You were oh, kind of drifting in wow. and out. Uh we've been on the table for a, a little while. We've been a yakking about this and a that and a nothing and a something. And I was trying to read a link. I just posted it in the notes, but I'm worried about my home, man. I mean, the, you guys live where I'm from. And the stuff that I read about freaks me the fuck out. Don't you know? freak you. And the way that the the people that live here are behaving about Trump doesn't it's not the it's not good. Excuse me. <laughs> it's a good thing I can laugh at it cuz I'll tell you if I was a big patriot, I'd be embarrassed. It's like, wow, this I is had not good for uh for the word patriot in the tweet i did well i mean if i had been military or something like that and i carried a flag and all you know believed in all that stuff i would be um, insulted by the way that the the modern day people are taking the actions of my potus but fortunately for me i was raised to think what i want what i want to believe is true it's, i'm the one that saw it it's my decision therefore mm, you know, and sometimes I voice it, and sometimes we just assume. <laughs> Read the chat under uh, from Hagrid down. <laughs> oh my goodness! They're being comic, comedic, comedic, comedic. I I got all tongue twisted. They're being com comedians on the real liberty media dot com chat and it tongue twisted me because what I read was I'm trying not to laugh still. Okay guys, you you're killing me here. I can't even <laughs> I'm do, laughing. wow. I'm man. <laughs> oh it's here a, we go. It's a flabbergasted laugh. I had Mary on the, I think it was a dork table, me and Mary. And I get to the end and she's doing the damn the you know the, the coming up who's coming up on, on the radio thing. And I start to giggle, and then I got her giggling, and we're both giggling. It's like two 15-year-olds laughing at the same time. I, but we re we regained control and got to the end of the show. Oh, I, I remembered the one he's, I was trying to remember when he was talking about when I was trying to remember thing earlier. Mary makes me laugh. Yeah. And? Yeah, it's Rio. 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 What's I was Rio? Vinny Rio yesterday. Vinny yeah. Rio. Yeah, so let me go back. I'm going to change his back to fucking Rio. Mind that's, Vinny. Uh, that's the guy you like right there. Vinny Rio. Vinny Rio. Got it. You betcha, Bosco. I'm making a note of it now. Hey. Even, it doesn't even give me a notification that it changed my name. It just changes it down there right uh, beside where you would type in send message. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. You, you want to want to do some some Donald Trump on the dork table? Is that like a I'll, I'll post the I'll post the link and you can open it and, and and if you want to start reading it, then I'll know that you you want to do it. 
And if you don't, then I'll figure you didn't want to. How's that? Did that make sense to your busy little mind, sir? Posted. I could give you this short. It's not a very one. long. It's not very long anyway. Stupid but Donald Trump. Uh, oh man, if you made me, ooh, you better. Ooh, what? You Trump. Well, Trump me. I, I, one trillion in fourteen months. Wow. Ooh, he's got a vagina on his neck above his collar. Ouch. Would you look at that? Wow. Ooh, wow. He's and he's and he's at a Boltinian as well. Wow. This mm. guy is real. Really, really uh, versatile. So, are, I take it you're a Trump fan, then. Is, uh, is that I, what you're I, saying, I, Vinny? I always find news I can trust and rely on. Would you vote for Donald Trump in the next election, sir? Oh, and he kind of looks like a turkey. So, and I would go like vegetarian before I would eat that slaughtered. Did you see what Grammy posted? The no. first thing she saw in her Twitter feed no. was human meat sliced like steaks. Ah. Oh my God! It's cool. Hey, yeah. stop it! I don't want to know that. Yeah. I don't want to know that. Like... No, yeah. vicious. Cool. Uh, it's a hey. It's a wicked life, man. Take your chances. Do you, do you see what response you get out of me when you ask me to look at Trump? Do you see? It's yeah, your own it, make, it makes you all crazy. I'm closing the thing. You're... I'm cl- it's closed. It's done. <laughs> wow. Over. No more vagina, neck, you're, ball, chinian. You're welcome. Human eating. Because, you know, it really ties back to these people in Epstein, I think. They yeah. Do. It's like they ate babies. Uh, okay. And maybe other humans. I don't know. You believe people do this stuff, though. Um, it makes me very nauseous i understand it's a nauseating concept but i'm just saying do you does that mean that you believe what they're telling you it to be true or have you got your own ideas well i just looked at the images that's all i saw okay so, so you're, I, you're going uh, off of, all right so you're going off of uh, information no, off the internet right I'll answer, I'll answer your question do you okay. do you believe that i should not believe that no i don't i don't think what i think matters uh, we, we're just on it we're on the radio thing. talking so i figured we'd talk about it <laughs> i don't i don't try to i don't weigh any of that in with any kind of reality it's just what yes. you're saying yes to answer your question yes i do believe that those people would do that sort of thing mm. and why sir is it that the you people, believe this evil people do evil things okay all right all right now you you're the spiritual out of the two of us me and you you kind of lean toward what I call the spiritual side of life, the God thing, because, you know, that's what you see. And I don't tell you it's not there. I just tell you I see something else. I can give you a, a quote to, to match that, the mm. fitting. I bet you can, mister. I was just comparing me to you because I felt like it. What do you think so of that? How do, we, how do we compare ourselves to those people? And I was to this. who? Wait, like to who? anybody well i don't know that's the whole point you do it based well, on what words you, you me, encounter you, coming from the other person i suppose i'll give you some words right well, here okay give me some Ready? words yeah um, shoot no if don't shoot. only it were all so simple to separate and destroy the line dividing good and evil it passes not through the states nor between classes but through every man's mind or heart that is impossible to expel from the world in its entirety but it is within each of us and at what point then should one resist there's your answer sir hmm. uh i think we're going to call today's podcast all you folkers out there in radio land i'm going to call it free thinking really can Guys hurt you that's short isn't it? no i'm gonna call it free think thinking can hurt you can hurt you yes okay that's better that's I like the that. title of today's epic saga about the world around us ladies and gentlemen it's out there in radio land <laughs> I like where, where the land is large and the police are small that's where i want to live 
Can I yeah. ask you, what? who do you think writes reality? The person that's telling it. Everybody. Everybody. You've already lost yourself in the perception because. Because I'm not in it. I'm I'm only in my I, own, Vincent. I'm I, not I, in. I, slow down. Slow down. Ah, so yes, sir. You, I asked you, hmm? who writes reality? The so, individual writes its reality. That's who writes reality. Spell, spell the word writes. W R I T E S, sir. <laughs> Perception of re, of, in your reality. So what okay. if you, what if I told you, I was spelt it R I G H T S. Oh, so we're gonna argue about grammar. Are you a grammar oh, Nazi no. now? No, no, this are you accusing me of being a grammar I Nazi? What are you saying here, man? I huh? Gave you a present, a perception yeah, to allow yeah. you to assume. Yeah. But I tricked you, right? I don't you know, did you? You feel like you've been to the carnival? Not really. I just feel looped, but not the carnival. So like a maybe a circus then? Well, yeah, circus. Entertainment. Yeah. Good. Okay. Well, I've done my job then. Grimner asks me, Flash, did you pay your lessons fee for free thinking? And I must admit, uh, I did, yes. <laughs> And you too can send me. I'm kidding. I don't pay. I don't pay for free thinking. Hmm. Free thinking pays for me. I want to start a new project. I am a wart on free thinking's ass, sir. <laughs> I sponge off free thinking like a like a virus or something. I would. I'd like something? to get your help. <laughs> I'm making shit up here, and it's not going yeah. anywhere. I'm trying yeah. to be funny. Yeah. I need to help. <laughs> what? Listen, I have a, a very uh, important new project to you? undergo. Okay. Yes, a, go, a GoFundMe for the cats. Oh. Oh, we should. Oh, so you're serious. You, yeah, I'm serious. He won't feed them. Who? He? Grimner won't. Oh, get the, shut up. He's been, now Vinny's losing his mind again. Leave no, the cats no, alone. Ask Grimner about this. Cats. I already, I read that earlier when he wrote it. He's right. Cats, man, I was wa I'm loving it too. I'm walking by this black cat because most people are superstitious, and they go, "Oh, a black cat crossed my path," and I, I don't care. Anyway, but so I'm passing the cat, and I notice things just sitting there, about five feet away from me, give or take, and uh, I slowed down and I just stood there, and you know, I think I counted to like three or something. Tried to. And uh, then I just took off and walked away, but the cat didn't go anywhere. So that's a good, to me, because I, I like animals, that's a good sign that the cat isn't afraid of me yet. I went over and walked behind him and said, how do you like it, huh, huh, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's when they own you, though. No. Yeah, sure, Dr. Cooper only but does, does Dr. Cooper walk around your ankle, sir? Yeah. See, he only does that to people he owns. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're in this house, he's going to do that to you to claim you. Cool. I like it. Because when, when they, yeah, they leave their scent on you for other cats to know, hey, this is mine. My human. Yep. And then you got those people that got multiple cats. And then they got the in-house cats fighting over who's dominant. And all kinds of weird shit. You know, in the animal kingdom. And that's how the system gets away with comparing us to animals, too, is with our, our ignorant freaking attempts at hierarchies and fucking uh, levels of intelligence. Shit like that. Here's just some way to look at that. Us in the cat box. I mean in a sandbox. Mm -hmm. but, right. Is that kind of like where they put us in there to play? Have you ever what? bragged about your IQ, sir? I don't recall you ever doing that. Are you, are you one of those that buys into that IQ crap? No, I think um, mine's a lot lower than what it was when it was measured. Because uh, I've uh, uh. took some wax to the to the noggin. Oh, you know, okay. Leak noggin yeah. juice yeah. along the way through life. Yeah. A little wear so, and tear. Yeah, I understand yeah, that. Definitely retarded. Definitely, definitely. Well, I'm definitely slowed down a lot over the years. I used to be a lot faster at shit, thinking, remembering names, and now it's all it's all mushing together. You know, one Jeffrey looks like the next Jeffrey. Einstein, Weinstein, you know, Frankenstein, fucking Stein. It's all the same shit. Listen, you can't say retarded unless you're actually retarded. And if you're not retarded, you can only say retarded. 
You said it four times. What does that tell you? I don't, I don't know. That you're being a, a bully and you're telling everybody else what they have to do while you do it like a cop. Just don't be a retard. Okay? Do you get paid like a cop to do that, to be a bully amongst you know, law-abiding citizens? Are you the one that gets to get paid to go fuck with them so they can be uncomfortable? Said I would, but I've never received tickets. Write them tickets, take them to jail for you know, cotton candy. That looks like drugs. <laughs> uh, I've got my worries about my homeland, I'm telling you. You've been reading about the red flag laws? Huh? Huh? Yeah, huh? I did. Yeah, I did. I did. I did read a little bit about that. What do you make of all that? Well, uh, some people will resist that uh, upon reception and get killed, and then other people like, well, hold on here now. What am I going to do? You say you want my guns, my God, but I've got to have squirrel for three. I don't know what I'd do without my 22. Well, it's incremental. Inch by inch. I told you about this earlier. Inch by inch. <laughs> Cirque's trying to make Moose laugh on the RLM chat. Sorry, Finny. <laughs> I got distracted by my wife there. Oh, I was distracted by that early because that really bothers me that some lady would feel upon herself, not only what, not just be happen to be out in the yard and the dog barks, but come next door and tell Moosey her dog is a barker. Yeah. See, well, I, I bet you. Uh, see, see, and, and uh, unfortunately, let, let me tell you a true story yeah, here. Yeah. This Yankee down the road down okay. here, he, it, well, <laughs> Yankee, uh, Yanker. <laughs> they'll come along, see, and they'll buy them up some little bit of land out here. And the first thing they do is put up no trespassing signs every 20 feet all the way around, right? And, but, anyways, that's one couple down here. They just like come. I've seen them out here camping two or three times. I, I, I haven't met them yet. I want to meet them. And make it very special and catch them out there camping at night and uh, and walk up with the banjo slow in mm. around the camp. Dong, dong, okay. Dong. That will be serious. Fun. But no, the one Yankee down the road. Mm. Uh, yeah, so this is a couple of times he's done this now. He's going putting rocks out in the road because there's a grunge match going on between my, my buddy and him and me too because I, I had to give him a talking to here some while back. So he's playing these little games, and I think it's so funny. Hmm. Are you entertaining me with your wit and stuff now? Yeah. So what are you going to do with somebody like that? Uh, I think they'll do it to themselves. That's what I think. And I'm going to laugh and laugh. Hmm. Well, see, that, that doesn't really solve the problem, though. Well, we're, anyway, I'm bothered by – how am I bothered, uh, Dork? Dork? What do you Texas. mean? Me? Oh. Well, I don't know. You gotta ask. You get. You just did ask him, huh? Yeah. Uh oh. I don't know. Oh yeah, bothered about the the neighbor lady. That's right. Come yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'd like to been up there for that. I'd like to tell that lady thing or two. And he says, okay, and that's his version of it. So what? Does that okay. change the reality of what what's going on in the room you're well, in? His look, here. Here it's revealed, and, and yeah. uh, Circle already gave the best advice anyway. So the lady, said, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> read her advice. It was funny. Yeah, buy her some flowers and a nice card. Absolutely, Moosey, do that if you. Yeah, but she's just starting a new job. I just go pick her some flowers and make her a nice little handwritten note, and maybe go over. With you some, never know. Uh, you, me and super. you've had arguments, and we always get over it in the long run. So, you know. People just need to learn that. Sometimes you disagree. So, you know, it's how, how long do you want to carry the disagreement? How well do you know this woman, most girl? Do y'all, I mean, have y'all like been friends? Has she brought hey, you, you, you know, cake and things? Do you get, uh, what is it, fruitcake at Christmas? Because if, <laughs> fruitcake fruit at Christmas. Cake, it's like August, Vinny. We're Vinny, Earth to Vinny. We're in August. It's, so? Fruitcakes at Christmas, you fruitcake. Yeah, but I mean, you can yeah. eat fruitcake any time of year. It's like trying to say turkey. Now, I think I'm not going to eat turkey ever again after looking at Trump's oh, face. Oh, man. See? But yeah, people think you only eat turkey at Thanksgiving and Christmas, right? I don't know. I don't like What's turkey. Wrong with turkey on the 4th of July? The taste of Labor it. Day, May Day, even. 
No, I actually am not a big. I, it's not a favorite taste of mine. Hi. No. Hold on, I got, a, I got somebody lurking here. Yeah. I got. To, to me, turkey would be the probably oh, in the last. That would be the stuff I would settle for if there was nothing else. Turkey. I don't. Everybody else loves the shit out of this damn turkey, and not me. Go figure. And it depends on a duck. Some duck I like, and some duck I don't like. Depends on how gamey the duck is, I suppose. But I like bottom dwelling scum sucking catfish if you get them in you know, New Orleans or maybe, well, at least Louisiana. That was probably the best I had. Uh, but I never went noodling or I never fished for the. You ever see noodling? If you don't know what noodling is, go, uh, not Google, but um, YouTube this shit. They got these guys that take their bare arm and they come out of it with a 30 35 pound catfish on their arm they call it noodling and i would i would put vinny i think vinny would probably if he didn't try it already in his day he would probably do it if he had a chance to you know because vinny's still a little on the crazy side uh, but that came to mind because i was thinking of catfish don't have any idea. Oh, the cat was crawling around my legs just before Vinny had to go off and investigate the noise outside. It's probably just the CIA, so until we hear gunshots, I'm not going to panic. Maybe it's the NSA. <laughs> They've been reading his emails, and they're doing a you know an investigation into Vinny right now while he's on live on the radio. Hey, that's what we'll do. <laughs> I'll leave this one behind. If he ever listens to the rerun, yeah, is the the time that I told everybody that Vinny disappeared because the CIA was um, staking his house out in Arkansas. You know, because he is from the land of Hill Dog, where people vanish and they appear again, but when they vanish, they were alive, and when they get back, well, they're not alive anymore. And it were obviously some kind of foul play because of the way that these people died. And the coroner, it was like they were playing some kind of word game. They'd always get it wrong. Always come out with suicide. They had two of them at a train track. Okay, they're suicided at a train. They decided to die by you know train. <laughs> it's a it's very rare. It does. It only happens when people are, you know, are sitting in power, and have secrets that the people that got hit by the train know. <laughs> so, hmm. now I don't know what happened to Vinny, but I guess I'll continue on. I will open up me a link here. He didn't want to read the Donald Trump thing. Stop! You, you're gonna make me sick. You're really gonna do that? Where'd don't you go? It. Please. Oh, uh, I had a stalker, or I mean a lurker. Ah. Well, I would assume it's a male. You're not bragging. You're not panting, so it could have been a girl. Friend again. Not even a quickie or anything. Somebody just, else. Yeah. Just, Vinny's girlfriend storage right here. Girlfriend storage locker. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. With your, uh, with come your, down to see if my girlfriend was with, here. Yeah, your icebox. No, storage locker. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Brag, brag. Brag, brag, brag. Brag. Boy, have you uh, you been on Earth very long there, sport? Well, uh, I'm looking at... If you ever want to land here, I suggest it. Give it a try. Join the rest of us in what we call reality and see how you Look like it. You started here, sir. You've got uh, smoked turkey going on. I don't like your reality, sir. I do not participate. There you go. How'd you like to be a dolphin? See how that... I don't want to be a dolphin. The fuck do I want to be a dolphin for? I I breathe air and I walk on. No, give me a break. Oh. You've been watching too much South Park, Johnny. What's wrong with you? What do you think we're gonna do a South Park thing and get turned into a dolphin? Dolphins are not fish, okay? I didn't say they were. Whatever they are, they're something. And who? Wow! How did I get they, into an argument with you about something I don't give a shit about? They breathe air. Hey, stop. I'm asking a question, your boneheaded miss. I had a good remark. Yeah, but how did I get into an argument about something yeah. I don't give two shits about in the first place? Because Hannah has the answer. Ah, you know it, it, sir. Hey, 
It's written. It's, like, it's a game show. It's as plain as the nose on your face. Ah, Jew mm. boy. Uh, yeah. mm, that's water. You know, people uh, probably take advantage mm. or take for yeah, uh, good water. Yeah, people uh. take it for granted. Hey, we a- got Grimner posting Infowars on his site. No, is that Grimner posting it? <laughs> Gay frogs. Oh, holy shit. I got to pause. He's killing me here. <clears throat> you guys are so cruel. I'll be right back. Make All right. So he'll probably do me and like I did run right off. Wow. No. There he is. He's right back. Yeah, no, I just wanted to take a break here. Yeah, back. How about, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would make a nice, well, uh, yeah. Long earth see, move. Dork Cakes posted noodling on the RLM chat, so Pickling you can trout. see what it is. It, these guys are, see, people are creative. That's what was, we were talking about in the first place. You know, the artistic side of us is really interesting. And some people are mechanical, and some people are. It depends on the person where their, you know, their interest is, that what they're good at. And I don't think everybody gets a fair chance in life to explore that side, to make a decision about what you're going to do to make money. And how many trout can you put in a gunny sack? How many? Tr- how big is the sack? I just thought I'd have to know. How big are How big are the trout? How big are the trout? Yeah. Yeah. And how big? You probably put a lot of those in one of these. Right. But only a few of them in one of those. You ever eat a minner? Or goldfish? I don't know. I try not to. I'm not big on fish. Cirque's yeah. big on fish. She she's Danish. They're fish I'd rather people. eat smaller fish than bigger they're, fish. I'm not. They're island, Icelandic people likes to eat the fish, baby. Let me I tell you. I don't like like eating big game fish. Islandic. I'm trying to make up a new word. She thought I said Icelandic. I said Islandic people. What is an Islandic? That's somebody that lives on an island. Island. Yeah. I see. And that I've been sense. residing on these small islands for the last few years. And I am telling you, it is a different world. The Can big, you milk a the, I'm saying that the big country, we're on the outskirts of every fucking thing. It's amazing where we are. It's almost like a, uh, like a story to me. It, if somebody in my country were to tell me how things are for me, I think they were making it making it up because it doesn't exist. You're telling me a story. That's how I'm doing it. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Kind of like you, only I know, you know, because I guess it's a matter of trust, too. You trust certain people in your life a little more than the average Joe. And I, me and you have been, you know, yakking back and forth for years now. So it's it's safer to say the longer you know somebody... This is more comfortable, I guess, you get with them. You don't doubt them so much. You get that that history to fall back on. Well, because we're all internet, uh, what do you call it, refugees. You know, we came from like Facebook and shit. All of us. We're gonna call you trust somebody. Uh oh. Well, why? I don't want. I don't trust everybody. Everybody is no. gonna do exactly what you believe. They will do. What you, just, you just have to admit what it is that you think about these people, and because you're getting the results that you believe. And if you don't believe bad shit, bad shit you don't find. It's very simple, but it's hard to prove. Yeah. You know? That sounds good, Grimmer. Oh, thanks. I'm just being all wise here and shit. And you, you're yeah. thanking Grimmer. Oh, I'm so jealous. I'm so wise. I'm so jealous now, Vinny. Yeah, and me. you. Right. Milk a dolphin. I don't want to try, but you can. Why don't you do it and tell us how fun it was? I Vinny's can't. gonna milk a dolphin on the I next Hunter Gander po- program next Friday at one o'clock on the East Coast. Vinny milking his first dolphin. Hey, that would be a kick, wouldn't it? Where are you gonna get a dolphin? No, you're gonna get a dolphin. I'm hey, not gonna right. get shit. I'm just announcing that you're going to milk a dolphin on your radio podcast. What if you crossed a dolphin and a goat? <laughs> what if? 
<laughs> okay, Monsanto. <laughs> Dr. Monsanto. <I> swear. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know, like the island of Dr. Moreau. Like that. Where you're, can you, you're can ma- you make that into a Nick? No. Moreau? No. That, Vinnie no. Moreau? <laughs> Vinnie Moreau. The island of Vinnie Moreau. <laughs> Well, look, I got, got Vinny wow. Rio, but Eric Grimner saying it sounds like a, uh, a Vinny well, Rio. Z. I'm going to answer Grimner's question of who is why? Joe and why is he so average? Well, everybody is Joe, and the reason he is so average is because there's no individual. There's just a bunch of Joes. It's not Joe's fault. Joe got caught up in the game. Joe doesn't name, know right? how to not play the game, so Joe plays. Just because he's named Joe, right? No, because I call everybody Joe. We're Joe. I'm Joe. You're Joe. We're all Joe. We don't yeah. know anything else. If we could find a better way to do this, we would. But there isn't anything available except you for watch, what's uh, available. Did you watch the movie? The movie? Hmm. Yeah. John, John, John Q. Public? No. I watched Twelve Angry Men. What were they doing? Why they were? Why were they so mad, sir? Because the one holdout guy didn't think the killer was a killer. Uh, it was and a long time ago that I saw that. Nineteen fifty nine. They made that movie, man. I'm telling you, it's an old, but it's it's a good point. Is that eleven guys wanted to get the fuck out and go on with their life? Well, okay, he's guilty. Who gives a fuck? And the one guy that cared said, "Wait a minute, no." And they showed you how one by one they proved, yeah, okay. And they got another guy to agree with, well, he's maybe he's not guilty. From guilty to not guilty. It was a really good movie. Made a good point. But it's pretend. It's not how we really are. We're not we don't work that way. We're told we work that way, but we're all emotional and we do things on a blink and boom. You do things, they're done. <laughs> So then you get TV and, you know, to explain all this crap and they lie to us. It's, it's, we're in a mess. As you well know from your physical experience with law in the courtroom, sir. Yeah, they parade it as law, but it's legal. I know that. And, you know, it's like the ass whipping that you and Hal get over the legal part is if you, if you are in this game, these are the ways that you play the game, like knowing how to make that uh, that card. Laminate a card, boom, it's a reality. They can't fight it because that's how they do it. They use You're using their tool on them for in an area where they can't fight you. Because <laughs> to fight you would be to prove that theirs is just as much bullshit as yours is. That's how I see that argument. Well, I think that's good. Uh, all depends on perception in, in the presentation. And I'd like to take you way back when to a mm. little piece of film. <laughs> on the doc, the island of Dr. Viniriel. Dr. Viniriel. <laughs> Viniriel. Viniriel. Like venereal, <laughs> Dr. Venereal. How sad. You Roll finally that. hit. You found the end of the internet, you weirdo. <clears throat> Roll that beautiful bean footage. I was looking for something on uh, John Q. Public. So yeah, the, but you know what we're coming up to? The end of the hour. End of the dork table. It's about time to shut this crap down and go back to life. What do you say? You want to do the lineup for the week or, or not? No, mind? I want you to do ah, it. Ah, you want me to do it. Today is Saturday, so tomorrow morning we have coming on. We got uh, Grimner opens up Sundays with the blues, and then we play some trivia. <laughs> some of us play better than others is all I've got to say about that. Grim, Rob Works, Miss Kate, Moose Girl. <laughs> There's a few of you typographical errors out there. Anyway. They got that going on until Hal Anthony from behind the woodshed at uh, 12 o'clock. Noon Noon o'clock. Don't do that. See, that's what fucks me. You finish it off. (laughs) 
I'm done. So there's yeah. people coming on the radio next week. Thanks a lot, everybody. <laughs> that, that's finger trivia. Yeah, have fun if you got uh, time. Yeah, you for, finish it off there, mister. All right. Well, hey, if you didn't get enough, come back for some Grim Leftovers. It's <laughs> on Monday nights, back again on Tuesday. Or in a perfect world, contrasting the occupation in an unknown time slot somewhere. <laughs> it's Grammy Mary, and she'll be her last Wednesday here blasting off. Miss Test again. Your pleasure on Real Liberty Me, 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday. That's when we're going to say goodbye on Friday. But, Not Thursday. But, yes, I'm backing up, but, but backing up to Thursday. Mm. We've got a couple of shows on here now. Yeah. We've got twenty uh, percent off with the Mister Flash, somebody else, and a brand new show at eleven p.m. It is called the Poopster and Prince Power Hour. 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 Woo! Go get it. Well, they did a really good opening show about Bitcoin and other coins, so they appealed to the the coin traders. And I thought it was necessary, man. It's really important to have that kind of stuff. Make it available and people will listen to it. We just need more people to do it. Because oh, I don't, well, I don't know much about coins. So I don't, I don't promote it. I don't discuss it. It's not a thing here. But now we got a show from the other two guys. So when you want to know about coins, you go to listen to them. Oh, that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's what I thought. And Grammy's last show is the next next Friday. Friday, uh, And I, so, I don't think I'm going to be doing a show this next Friday. You're not either? No. Okay. So you're yeah. not going to be on. Grammy and Moose Girl is fun. <sighs> well, it's summertime, so I say get your butt out there in the, in the real physical world while it's tolerable as much as you possibly can. The radio got, is going to be here. You, know? you can always do radio. Prices. I need to get over to this weekend. Ah, hey, Cakes. Thanks a lot, Cakes, for showing up and being you, sir. And, uh, hey, uh, can you get a 20% discount for duh? 20% <laughs> discount. Off of what? I do. You know, oh, outside of, if uh, if you feel generous, send Grimm some money on reallibertymedia.com. That's all I ever say. Oh, I don't ever need anything. Link. It'll be in the R log right there, along where you'll find this in the uh, recast if you're not here. Right, right, but I like to mention it. Hey, Moose. Thanks, Moose. Thanks, everybody. All Appreciate right, it. you ready? Okay. Oh, we still got two minutes. We can dinker around. And or are you done dinkering? Well, when we're done, we'll be done. All right. You want us to take us out with a story, Uncle Vinny? Will you please tell me about the time your gay accountant did all your accounting so well because he didn't have a wife to fuck him up? I'm not sure I know that one. That's a, Oh, no, that was Uncle Hansel. Never mind. Smart ass. Oh, in a year, smart ass will probably make sense. Give it some time. You know, oh, the other day I made a, a crack. I think it was Mike about uh or no it wasn't mike it was somebody about ai is overrated to me because of the availability of it not because of anything how how much ai do you fucking encounter it's some, it's something for us to argue about while we're poor give me a break that's all i meant by that i, I figured whoever said it if they ever listen to the show they hear that they might know that chatter to formerly known as cho i don't know it's just I disagree with people about shit that doesn't. It in the end, it doesn't matter, Vinny. It's just chatter on the screen. Thanks, hey, everybody. Hi. See you next That's time. That's good. <laughs>